Sometimes on my travels, I end up in small towns, so far off the beaten path, it's hard to know what the community has to offer. That is, unless you stop in and meet the people. In one such town, it's located in the Scott Valley in Siskiyou County. It's the town of many hidden treasures. I'm John Bartell, making a little pit stop in Fort Jones. With a population just under 700 people and a main street that's only a few blocks long, I decided to start my exploration at the Fort Jones Museum, where Terry Mendenhall took me inside to see the town's prized possession. What exactly am I looking at up here? That is a two-headed calf. I'm not sure what is creepier, the fact that the cow has two heads or the fact that someone took the time to stuff the thing and put it in a display case. D does Fort Jones have a lot of two-headed calves? This is the only one I know of. Hmm. I guess you could say it's priceless, just like a lot of the other oddities in this museum. Nice collection of barbed wire, different kinds. The pistols, they love the pistols. Oh, my granddaughter loves this saddle. The discovery of gold in the 1850s brought miners, settlers, and the army to Scott Valley. Under the protection of soldiers, Fort Jones became a trading post and stagecoach stop. A lot of the artifacts in the museum belong to early settlers, but other items, well, they don't, like this rock outside the museum. What is this thing? That is a famous rain rock. Legend has it the rock belonged to the indigenous Shasta nation, who pounded on the rock to make it rain and then covered it up to make the rain stop. Road crews unearthed this rock back in 1947, and Terry says the town now covers the rock during the annual Christmas parade. Does it work? Yeah. You have not had a rainy Christmas, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Just down the street from the museum, there's Five Mary's Burger House, where you can get a bite to eat or buy a drink from the bar. Or you could just get a free drink at Marty's Barber Shop. Free beer with a haircut or a shot of whiskey. While you finish your drink, you can check out the antique barber collection or catch up on the town's gossip. Don't worry, your secret's safe with Marty. The sign says, stays in the barber shop. Just a few blocks from the barber shop is Marble Rim Gallery, where you can sign up for one of Susan Birch's painting classes. They're all painting, uh, we're all, do, all doing uh, fall pictures. Fort Jones may be off the beaten path, but they have a lot to offer, including some hidden treasures. I find stuff all the time in here. From Fort Jones, home of the two-headed cow, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back roads.